also heard the legends of Ken's Incineroar though. Ken's Incineroar? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I gotta I gotta see this. I, I've heard I've heard some things about this guy's Incineroar, but I don't know what the heck Sue's doing. I've never seen Sue touch this character in my life. Yeah, and I mean Incineroar oh, yeah. A, another character where you know I don't think is the greatest in singles, but in doubles where things is a lot more chaotic, it can be a lot harder to edge guard Incineroar when you know Incineroar's teammate is helping him out, right? So see how this goes. Incineroar, a character that can hit insanely hard, kill you very very early. You know something I never see in doubles that I expected to see from Incineroar players, like just revenge your partner's like insanely strong move just to get like the free like revenge meter and yeah. get that buff. I wonder if it's scaled down because I know there's some counters that are scaled down, but um, projectiles are going to be something Incineroar can counter. Now when Incineroar counters, he does have a little hit back with the flames after, but he actually, his next move actually hits harder depending on what he countered and how strong it right, was. Right, right. So I've seen Incineroar kill people at like 30 to like 50%. With like, they counter some crazy move and then they side B you at 50 yeah, and you just yeah. oh, you get obliterated. Ooh, the team assist. Wow. The coverage, man. Wow, and got the up the off the top, right? Okay, right now I, mean, I heard the the legends of these Incineroar, but th this cat is kind of getting jammed right now. Yeah, it's uh, not, not the easiest. I, I gotta say, uh, Saturn's doing a good job of holding on to the stock of Ganon. He's yeah, not really playing scared of the Incineroar. Yeah, Nier and Saturn doing a really, really great job. And uh, Ganon, another character that kind of like Incineroar, where you usually get edge guarded really hard in singles, but in doubles, man, this guy's uh, hitboxes are really large, and sometimes you can just whip out these smash attacks with Ganon. They're so huge. They got that disjoint, and they will take those stocks. Yeah, his uh, weaknesses get covered really well by like a good mobility character as a partner. Yeah, double, double Ganon is when you get to like max levels of. Uh, oh yeah, I've <laughs> actually seen that degenerate team Insanity. work really well. Yes, yes. Actually, <laughs> it's pretty fun. Okay, so right now, three stocks to four here. Ken and Sue holding on to their uh, second stocks each, man. But I, honestly, Saturn looking pretty healthy on this Ganondorf. 86 is nothing to scoff at. The character is extremely heavy here. Yeah, man. It, it, you know, it's it's so weird because I've I've never seen Sue play uh, play Sans. I've never seen him play Sans ever. And and like, I've seen Sue play a lot of different characters, yeah. like the Sword Fighter, even like Isabel randomly, yeah, like yeah. in singles. So, Ooh. yeah, oh. that's gonna be the stock and Saturn. Oh, another counter here for Ken. He's got this set up. Maybe he can get this uh, near stock here. Ooh, oh, but he will lose that stock, and you don't get to keep that counter. Through yeah. stocks, unfortunately. Oh, oh really? <laughs> he did out so neutral. That's really? actually something else that hits in doubles more. Uh, all right. Okay. The kicks. Okay. Uh, really healthy Ganon stock here, but oh, this two v one is rough. Ooh, we tried to hit him. Okay, they they are trying to set yeah, up. The, yeah, uh, He's yeah. He's been consistently. Uh, oh my God. And the cat gets the foot. Gonna down air there for the finisher. Dude, did you see like the delay on the down air too? Yeah. Like yeah. he didn't immediately go for the spike. He was like, all right, I know you're going to air dodge here. Damn, what a team combo. That's kind of crazy that that match was so close until it was 2v1. It oh, just looked, yeah. It just looked like Japan is very comfortable with their 2v1 situations. Or I mean, just like I said, Japan, they're really good at doubles. Uh, they, Japan, the Wi Fi in Japan are, is so good that. A lot of them will just go play Wi-Fi doubles. That's like a very popular thing to do in Japan. Yeah. And like, I mean, Wi-Fi in general is really big in Japan, right? So, uh, but usually it's it's harder to play Wi-Fi doubles because just four people connecting. Yeah. You know what I mean? But in Japan, the internet's crisp, and yeah, they, they uh, do that all the time. So, they uh, they take doubles very very seriously down there. Yo, Terry's out. So the Terry this, is out. In, yeah, in this tournament, we have outside. Not counting Leffen. Well, we have three of the best uh, Terries in this event with uh, Riddles, Locust, and uh, Sue. So I really do want to see how they're all going to do in this tournament. This is like one of the that's the biggest tournament we've had with like Terry Legal. Yeah. And a lot yeah. of people aren't sure exactly how good the character is. I also think uh, Terry has a lot of potential as a, a team's character too. Yeah, and Sue did play some Shotos in Smash 4. Um, I haven't seen too much of the Shoto play in this game. Uh, but, I mean, Terry's definitely a conversion monster in this game. 
Um, I personally think Ken's better, like overall as a character, but I think Terry's conversions are can be very, very insane. And uh, Sue is definitely about that. Yeah. It was funny too. Uh, he's been playing like KOF and uh, Fatal Fury, like ever since they announced Terry would be in Smash. Dang, like the actual games? Yeah, yeah. That's hype. That's really cool. All right, so starting things off, man. Wow, Stock's already flying here. Uh, Sue still holding on. Saturn oh still holding on. But man, what is happening? Right died now? to power days are like seventy percent. For some reason, I thought that was volcano kick, and then I saw Ganon off stage. I was like, wait, what was that crazy explosion, though? Of course, Terry does get um, access. Oh my God! Oh. An extended hip Jeez, he almost died to that yes. cross stage. What is happening? That wasn't even like the revenge boosted. Uh, that was just a regular yeah. side B, bro. The Alolan whip, bro. Oh it hits. God. He's got revenge now, too. Okay, well, I, I might need to see Ken play this in Zenderite singles. I, for Ken's, uh, for the sake of this man's career, stay on the Sonic. <laughs> in singles, stay on the Sonic. You know, in doubles, you, you, can, ha you can have fun. But yeah, I, I, I want to see that Sonic. Of course, he can play whatever he wants. But. The power dunk. Sue gonna get back on stage using the intangible um, up B there. But yeah, of course we saw um, touching up on the power geyser earlier. So Ken or uh, Ken Terry does get access to two moves when he is at 100. percent You'll see the OK meter, kind of like his um, quote unquote meter from the game. And there it is. You see the go. Uh, not OK, but you see the go there. So he has power geyser and uh, Buster, Wolf. Buster Wolf. Yes. Both two very, very strong moves, and you can convert into them as well, so yeah. very, very cool. Trying to get this offstage situation here, but great recovery from Sue. The crack shoot definitely, oh, there's the Buster Wolf on display. Oh Almost getting that kill cross stage, man. That move is so powerful. Yeah, I just noticed all of the Terry's, like the top of the Terry's seen so far, all insanely good at recovering. Man. That power geyser, he's out of here. Power geyser sweeping the entire screen. Jeez. Get him out of here, dude. Back to back, and Sue just coming in, showing off 